All right, our next section in chapter 12 is looking at the area of rectangles. So we're looking specifically at rectangles, and along with rectangles, we're also looking at squares to tie in with it as well. So to find the area of a rectangle, what we need is that we need the base and the height. So the sides of a rectangle, so if I just have a normal rectangle like this, one of the sides is called the base, which is usually the one going horizontal, and then one is called the height, which is the one going vertically. What you would do is you'd multiply those two numbers together. Now, one thing that's nice with rectangles is that the heights are going to be the same length. So both sides of this rectangle, they're going to be the exact same length, just like for the bases, the top and the bottom are also going to be congruent. So if the base on the bottom was 7, the top should also be 7. If the height is 4, the other height should be 4, so both sides on the other ones. Okay. That's one of those properties with rectangles where they have two pairs of congruent sides. Okay. Now, when we're dealing with area, to find the area, all we're doing is we're taking two adjacent sides, so two sides that are next to each other, and we're multiplying them. And so we would just say that it's base times height. So base and height, base and height. So we can either multiply, we can multiply these together or these together. Okay. We could also multiply these together or these together. Okay, So you have several options for choosing which ones you want to multiply together to find the area of this rectangle. And again, when you multiply them together, you're going to put your answer as whatever the unit is squared. Okay, Make sure everything's in the same unit. So area of a rectangle is base and height. So let's look at this example. So I have this rectangle. Okay, we're going to say across the top is 20 uh, meters, and we're going to say up and down is 8 meters. Okay, now if we want to find the area of this rectangle, all we have to do is take 20 times 8. And 20 times 8, which is 160 meters squared. And that would be the area of this rectangle. Okay, so the area of this rectangle would be 160 meters squared. Okay, so the next one is our area of a square. So we just looked at a rectangle, now we're going to look at a square. So when you're dealing with a square, one thing that's unique with a square is that all of the sides are the same. So all you need for a square is just one side, and then you square it. And that's going to get you your answer, which that little 2 means that you're taking s and you're multiplying it by s again. So you're multiplying the same number twice. So if I know one side, let's say this side is 5, uh, we'll say feet, okay, that means my entire area is going to be 5 squared which is 5 times 5, which means it's 25 feet squared. Okay, That's how you find the area of specifically a square, which is just using base times height, but squares are special where the base and the height are the exact same length. Okay, so let's do another example. So let's say that each side of this triangle, or this square, is going to be mm, 7. 7 centimeters. 7 centimeters. Now, if I want to find the area of this, what would I do? What we do is we take 7 and we'd square it. So it'd be 7 squared is going to get our answer, which would be 7 times 7, which would end up being 49 centimeters squared. So that means that I could fit 7 centimeter squares across the top, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I can fit seven going across the bottom. Which means a grand total, if I were to count every single square inside of here, I'd end up with 49 squares on the inside. Okay, so that's area of rectangles. Okay, so over from this section's 403, numbers one through 19, um, make sure you get all those done.